This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV 24 7. I'm Sunita Chaudhary and tonight at 10 we look at the brutal killing of senior investigative journalist J. Day. Does it mark the return of gang wars in Mumbai? Also on the show, just what is a slut walk and why is its first scheduled event in India dividing feminists? Our main focus today, when a senior journalist who has spent decades covering the underbelly of Mumbai city, from its dawns to its mafias, when he's suddenly gunned down in the middle of the day, what does it say about the state of law and order in the city? Three days after J. Day's murder, the police are yet to make an arrest. The question that many are asking, does it signal a comeback for the underworld or did gang wars never really go away? hunting for this face is one of the four men who gunned down journalist J. Day on Saturday evening. Dark, around five and a half feet tall, in his early 20s. As per the account of an eyewitness, he was wearing a blue raincoat during the murder. The police have also questioned 20 people from the oil mafia and the D gang who they reported against. In the days to come, ACP Anil Mahabole, who they had done stories on, alleging his proximity to the D-gang, could also be questioned. But even today, the police say personal enmity is the main angle they are looking into, going through the courier they sent out minutes before the shots were fired. In the courier shop, he also got some documents Xerox, documents that the police believe were taken by the killers. Meanwhile, outrage against the murder has spilled onto the streets. Mumbai's journalists marched to the CM's office demanding justice. But most journalists were not satisfied with this reply and demanded that given the nature of JD's reporting, his murder should be investigated by the CBI. The journalists insist on a CBI inquiry because many of Day's reports revealed the underworld police nexus and policemen exposed by him might have borne a grudge. To push their demand, the journalists will go on a chain hunger strike from June 15. If that does not yield any result, they will move a petition in the Bombay High Court and meet the Prime Minister. With Rachmi Rajput in Mumbai, Prachi Zaudekar Vag for NDTV. The question we are asking today, does the journalist murder signal a re-emergence of Mumbai underworld? Well, joining us for this discussion, we hope to get many more people. But for now, we have with us uh, the former DGP of Maharashtra, Arvind Inamdar. Uh, he's joining us and also a senior journalist. Uh, we have S. Balakrishnan, who's covered the underworld extensively. Mr. Balakrishnan, if I can first go across to you. You know, you must have known J.D. out in the field. This entire story, what worries you about it? Well, the mother of, of J.D., only confirms what we all knew that it is the underworld and the agents of the underworld in the Mumbai police who are literally calling the shots in, in the city. The commercial capital of Mumbai has been taken over by the underworld in collusion with vested interests in the police force and in the political establishment. I am making this allegation with the fullest sense of uh, responsibility because if the situation is not tackled with the seriousness that it deserves, I am afraid we will witness the complete Karachification of Mumbai. So this murder, it is not the murder of just one individual or a journalist. It has got extremely serious implications. And the sooner the government led by Mr. Prithura Chavan, who has so far not demonstrated any seriousness whatsoever about uh, anything uh, in Maharashtra, especially with, with regard to law and order, I am afraid the situation will go totally out of control. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. 
faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.